Welcome back to CBS Mornings. March is Women's History Month, and all month long, we've been profiling extraordinary women making an impact on the world in our series. We're calling it Changing the Game. This morning, we have a conversation with the highest grossing black female movie director in U.S. box office history. What is her name? Ava DuVernay is her name. She's a former public relations executive who went on to direct the Oscar-winning movie Selma and the TV series When They See Us. Now, she is amplifying the work of women and people of color on screen and behind the scenes. Jamie Yuka spoke with Ava DuVernay and philanthropist Melinda French-Gates at the Los Angeles nonprofit eBell, which has a mission to educate and uplift women. They met on the stage where, listen to this, Judy Garland was discovered back in 1934. Movies, you know, changed my life. They allowed me to see the world outside of my own window. Action! For writer, director, and producer Ava DuVernay, that world includes awards and nominations from Sundance, the Oscars, Golden Globes, and British Academy of Film Awards, to name a few. One of the things I love about you is that you didn't pick up a camera until you were 32 years old. Yes. And I think that is such it, an amazing message. That's like in dog message. years. That's, I don't know what dog <laughs> years are. But someone told me that's old in dog years. In filmmaker years. Now approaching 50, DuVernay recently graced the cover of InStyle magazine while also balancing 14 television projects. A lot of people are reevaluating their lives, right? The, the great resignation, you have women that are looking, going, this isn't really what I wanted to be doing. Mm -hmm. And I think you can inspire people and go, well, if she could do it at 32 mm -hmm. and, and do all you're doing, mm -hmm. you know, there's hope there. The one thing I'll say that was really uh, key for me as a woman getting into this space was uh, letting, allowing it to be progressive. I didn't just quit my job and say, uh, hey, I'm here. I was, you know, uh, making things on the side. And so I made four films before, I, four full films uh, before I actually quit my day job. The day I won Sundance, I said, maybe I should try this <laughs> full time. Don't feel like you've got to do it all at once. One motto DuVernay lives by, if your dream only includes you, it's too small. To that end, she created a platform called Array Crew a database to promote the hiring of underrepresented professionals, including women and people of color in the film and TV industries. I have a, the pleasure of serving on the Academy of Governors, the Motion Picture Academy that does the Oscars with Steven Spielberg. And I told him for so long my idea of what a director was, was, was him. Jeans, mm. the bomber jacket, the glasses, that was the thing. But can a director also have my hair and my skin and be a girl? Yes, everyone can be it all, and that's a big part of our work. You're opening possibilities in their minds to the world, but even for themselves. Let me hold on this for a second. We read your interview where you said you're not getting married and you're not I having children. I can't believe that got so much attention. It's a very simple statement. But it's an important one to make. Okay. It is a myth that to be a whole person and a complete woman that you have to do these things. Mm -hmm. Everyone has to decide that for themselves. When I look at our industry and I look at uh, the most powerful men, mm -hmm or the most kind of prolific men. There are women mm -hmm. standing next to them who actually really support their work. And so the day that I'll get married is the day that I find a, a man who is happy to support my work. Mm -hmm. And I think that talking about this helps us create men, create a generation of men where that could be the norm. Why is it not the norm? Maybe we're going to start it right here, <laughs> right now. We have to rethink in society who we are. But I think media for so long in the past told us the family structure looks this one mm -hmm. way. Yeah, you know, images are so powerful. It shifts and, and, and shapes culture. It shapes the way we think about ourselves. That's why having different kinds of people creating these images is imperative. It's hard to be what you can't see. And... I love that you're disrupting this industry so that we start to see everything. How important is it to your work to have someone like Melinda come in and understand all of this and want to support this and do more? It's about a shared intention, a shared vision, goal, mission. And uh, you know, that's why I enjoy working with uh, your team and you, um, because it's an ongoing conversation. Mm -hmm. It is a relationship. Um, it is not a purchase. There are lessons about what you're doing and how you're going about trying to create diversity that will also inform other fields. And these are our key industries, media because they tell our stories, finance because power is held there, 
technology because it's changing mm -hmm. society. We have to increase women's power and influence as quickly as we possibly can. God, yeah. What advice would you have for a young woman if she comes to you and says, how do I start this? What do I do? Where do I go? So my biggest advice is begin. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for permission to begin. Just begin. Just begin. Listen, bravo to Melinda French Gates, because as you know, Nate, she came to us. She, had, she said, we've got three powers, powerhouse women. So we had Ava DuVernay, mm -hmm. Ai Jin Poo, and Dr. Kismikia Corbett, and we all sat down together to do the interviews. And Ava, of course, I love everything about her, number one. Yeah. Her voice, her brain, and her heart. Mm. And how about this? If your dream only includes you, it's too small. Love that. I love that. Too. She said, you know, a director can look like me, have yep. hair like mine. She can be a girl. Yeah. Um, you know, what I love about the diversity in all of these different fields, it serves as not just education for the youth, but a blueprint of what the future can and should be. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Ava's working on 14 different television projects. I don't know how she does it all at the same time. And she's got some big news coming up. I'll wait until she gives us permission to share it, but okay. it's big. Salute to all the superwomen out there.